and welcome back. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and I'm going to sew the March Cotton Cup Gnomes into a quilt top today. And I'm going to start off by making six two and a half inch strips. like I may need to change my blade again. I got this out I'm gonna go ahead and cut my borders too so I am going to cut four six and a half inch strips and two five inch strips Six and a half would be nineteen and a half. So I need one more six and a half. over here. One more six and a half. And then I'm just going to cut two fives. And I'm just going to line this up on the five. So that would be ten. And fifteen. Okay, so my six and a half and my five inch I'm going to put to the side because those are for my borders. So I'm all done with my Kona white here. So I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to cut six twelve and a half and six twenty two and a half. Right, I'm going to speed that up. stashing strips cut. I'm going to use these leftover from the kits for cornerstones and I'm going to start putting all this together. So start with a cornerstone, a small sashing, another cornerstone, small sashing, and a cornerstone. And then I will add my block rows with the sashing strips between, and another cornerstone row, then another block row, and then the last would be another cornerstone and sashing row. Sew them all together, press them, and we'll be back.
center of my March gnomes all pen just ready to sew down but while I'm at the sewing machine I'm gonna go ahead and take my side borders which are the six and a half and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the edges off those salvage edges and pen them together <clears throat> so I have two borders that once we finish sewing I can measure and I can cut them down to the correct size so that's what I'm going to do. I have the middle of my quilt top all pressed so now I'm gonna cut the side borders and the side borders are 50 and a half or 25 and a quarter if it's folded half which is what this is so I'm just going to okay so I'm going to cut those, pin them on, sew them, and then add the top border. And then we'll be back. Okay, so I have my side borders on, which I did six and a half inch side borders. I sewed those on, pressed them. Now I'm cutting my top borders. These top borders I'm only doing at five inches. And my quilt top is 43 inches across. So um, 21 and a half is what I'm cutting because they're folded over. So I'm going to sew these on the top and bottom, press them, and then I'll be back with one final look with it hanging up. And this is the March gnome quilt all done. Now I have been moving the boy and girl gnomes around in their positions in this just so it's not all the same. But there it is. <laughs> 